guys, in this video, I wanted to show you how you can use the advanced search and reporting to issue bulk commands to your system. What we're going to do here is imagine if I was needing to change the common set point on an entire floor of VAVs. You know, currently the set point on these boxes are at 72 degrees. However, if for whatever reason I needed to raise or lower that, I can use advanced search and reporting to accomplish this task. And the way that you can do that is, of course, go to this little box here on the right of the equipment summary. And when I press that, it's going to bring me up this pop-up where I can select advanced search and reporting. Once I click into advanced search and reporting, it's basically going to go out and pull everything from that particular floor since we are in a floor of a building. And that's not what I need it to do. But just to show you, you can see that it just pulls everything. And this is not what I need. I want to filter it down just to the particular point that I want. So what I will do is I will select filter and it will bring up this menu to where I can enter the criteria from here. You can see already it already has the floor selected because that is where the equipment summary we were looking at is from. Okay, the object type, since this is going to be a, a temperature set point, the particular object type for this is going to be an analog value. So I can scroll down through here just to filter it down as much. You can see I have all of the different types of values here. So I'm going to select analog value from the list. That will add that into the search criteria. The next thing that I'm going to do is type in the name of the particular point that I want, which is simply znt dash SP and when I add that uh, just like so I can then press search and once I press search with those criteria you can see here that it will give me a list of every single one of the zone temp set points for this floor now from this list I have this checkbox here in the upper left corner I can select that checkbox and it will select all of them I can select just a few of them just whatever I want to do from here I can then go up to the actions tab drop it down and select bulk command once I hit the bulk command you can see there is a total of 81 objects uh, for this particular floor you know, it'll take just a minute as it goes out and pulls each of those devices and pulls them into this list. And as again, guys, this is something that can be a very powerful tool and can save you some time in your system. Okay, from this, I have the option of doing an override. I can do an adjust or just whatever I need to do from here. For example, if I wanted to do an override and, for example, change that to a 70 degrees and just like that, and I can have it to expire after so long, you know, imagine if they were going to have a major event where the building is going to be heavily crowded. You want to bring that temperature down just a little bit to kind of help keep everyone from getting too hot. Uh, you know, that is where this can come into play. See, I can, from this point here, add an annotation if I want to tell someone why this was done. Uh, you know, just temporary override. Let's just type that in. You know, or just whatever. I can give a reason why that was done here in the annotations. And then I can hit next. And it's going to give me this list of all of those devices. And, of course, I can see the value. You know, I can see any places where there are currently overrides already in the system. And once I hit apply, it will actually go out and it will uh, write that command to each of those points. I'm not actually going to do that now but it is something uh, that you can do it would send it out and write all of those values into that now one word of caution for example if you have different types of controllers that get pulled into this list uh, and just for example if you have a building to where uh, one part of that building is for a uh, basically like an N2 device and another part is a BACnet device, this type of bulk commanding will not work properly. It will give you an error when you try to do that. However, the, the controllers that are consistent, you can group them together in something like this. You also noticed from this action tab, 
I have the option of creating, doing a bulk modify. You know, I can actually select that, and there's a lot of things that I can do. I can change the authorization category here, uh, change of value increment, display precision, min max values. There's a lot of things that you can do from this bulk command option, you know, and it can save you a lot of time in your system. Instead of having to go in there and change everything uh, just one step at a time, you can change it right here in the bulk modify. But guys, that's just one more very useful tool that you can use to help uh, streamline your workflow within the system. Uh, it has a lot of features. You can set up scheduled reporting and things like that. But guys, this is just a quick uh, video that I wanted to do to show you how you can bulk command points from your system using the advanced search and reporting. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave those down in the comments below. Also, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Check out all of the rest of the videos on the channel. Check out all of the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.